What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with, I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for Sana Aries. This is resonating with Aries in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Haven, Jupiter, Taurus. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for Sana Aries. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, to High Priestess Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no good modes. Very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to do donate, love you guys, and thanks for all the new subscribers. Love you guys. Okay, so I received two channel messages for your sign, Aries, for October 2022. The first one I heard, stepping up when no one else um, would, is what I heard. Stepping else when no one else would and will. Would and will, so... You plug it in how it resonates, stepping up when no one else would, stepping up when no, no one else will. That was the first one. And the second one I heard, um, an Aries is about to deliver very important information on a very criminal Scorpio to the um, Fed soon, is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. I did hear Fed, so Federal Investigator or Investigators, I'm presuming. Um, you plug it in how it resonates an airy uh, so stepping up when no one else would or will so past and present I'm presuming Aries um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit that could be you or somebody you're connected to because you know energies can be reversed so it could be you stepping up when no one else would or will or someone else is about to step up when no one else would or will how that resonates and applies and then the second one I heard an Aries so an Aries is about to deliver very important information to feds um, on a very criminal Scorpio. So whoever this uh, criminal Scorpio is and however they resonate and apply in your own life, Aries, okay? It is a criminal Scorpio, masculine or femme Scorpio. They can have any aspects of Scorpio in their chart, but you, I think you know they're a criminal and that's why you're about to step up and deliver information on this um, criminal Scorpio. Whoever this criminal Scorpio is and how they resonate and apply in your life, okay? For some, it is a family member. For some, it is a community member. This Scorpio. For some, it's an ex-lover. Okay, so this criminal Scorpio is either your ex-lover, your... Um, your ex-lover, your family member, or a community member. So you plug it in, how it resonates, whoever this criminal Scorpio is, that you're about to step up and deliver important information to the feds, federal agents, I'm presuming, um, on this criminal Scorpio. He's either, um, or he or she, it's he or she. I just heard a Scorpio. It could be man or woman. He or she could be um, your ex-lover, so somebody you were sexually connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. A uh, community member or a family member. How that resonates and applies to Aries, okay? We have frog and lamb. For some, you can deal with the uh, water sign or earth sign. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And there's some moon rising, Venus, or Femme, Henry, or Jupiter. Charge some, you're dealing with Scorpio. Just saying, just saying. A criminal Scorpio. Um, how that resonates and applies, okay? We also have June, flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. That could be that criminal Scorpio for the ones that is your ex-lover. Um, and then sun, happiness and well-being. Spirit messages you have for Aries. Spirit messages you have for Aries. Purification, number 30, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 30, it could be a possible age of viewers by your connection to or any, any other significant number. Number 30. Um, also, this could be the truth coming out to the federal agent or agents on this criminal Scorpio, whether it's your neighbor. Uh, not your neighbor, I'm sorry. No, I didn't hear neighbor. Your community member, your family member, or an ex-lover. How that resonates and applies, okay? Frog. Uh, 
A very significant thunderstorm is about to become very significant in Aries' life. Very significant. Very significant thunderstorm is about to become very significant in Aries' life. So, to me, that could go positive or negative. Uh, for some, you could like thunderstorms. For some, you could hate them. Um, but somehow, thunderstorm is about to become very significant in your life. Uh, it could be in a positive fashion or a negative fashion. Um, I know for me, thunderstorms put me to sleep. Like, if I'm safe in my home and it's just thunderstorming outside, it puts me to sleep. But for some, you could be out and about and it starts thunderstorming, and that could be significant in your life. You could get caught in a thunderstorm. Um, you could be on the road when this happens. You could be in your bed, and it puts you to sleep. But somehow, a significant thunderstorm is about to become very significant in your life, Aries, either in a positive fashion or a negative fashion. Um, how that resonates and applies. And, you know, the rain on this card, that, um, to me, that reminds me of the beginnings of a thunderstorm. Okay, I didn't hear anything else, but also, while I was sitting here trying to channel in, and I didn't get anything this time, I was looking at this card on the video, and I, um, one of you guys is about to deliver important information on this criminal Scorpio, masculine criminal Scorpio. I was looking at this card when I was trying to channel in. This is the water sign card. So, th to me, this could be your Scorpio about to get the rain on him from the damn federal agents, is what I'm feeling here. Um... You, some, one of you guys know some very important information on him, um, and you're about to deliver it, and I think he's about to get a shit storm, a thunderstorm, a metaphorical shit storm here from the federal agents on his ass, him or her, I keep saying him, for some it could be a masculine, I just heard Scorpio, for some it could be a femme, but metaphorical thunderstorm on this Scorpio's ass is what I'm feeling here, but you plug it in how it resonates, know some very damning information. About to do it. Things have gotten way too real. Okay. I heard knows, you know some very damning information on the Scorpio. Very damning. And you're about to do it because things have gotten way too real. So somehow something has gotten way too real with this regarding this criminal Scorpio and something. And that's why you're about to deliver the important information to the federal agents. Metaphorical thunderstorm and shitstorm and rain down on his, uh, his or her ass. Keep saying him. For some, it could be a masculine. For some, it could be a femme. But I feel for a lot of you guys, it might be a masculine. But I'm just saying, raining down on the Scorpio's ass. Damn. Lamb. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo child, and a Leo child is about to become very significant in Aries' life. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo child, and a Leo child is about to become very significant in a, Leo, uh, in a Aries life. For some, it's your child. For some, it's your children. For some, it's someone else's child. For some, it's someone else's children. Okay, so for some it's your child or children, for some it's somebody else's child or children, her Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo child, and a Leo child. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whether it's your child or children or somebody else's child or children, they're about to become very significant in your life. Aries. Um, the lamb energy in this aspect to me is like a, a child that's not, um, they're, um, docile and obedient and um they're not like a rebellious child they um you know don't go cray cray they listen and obey 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 and they do what they're supposed to do within reason not like a rebellious child is what i'm feeling um but you plug it in how it resonates 
whether it's your child or children or somebody else's child or children, I do feel this is actual minor energy, like 17 or below. But you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. And a very ill cancer in the hospital is about to become very significant in your life. For some, it's a baby mother. For some, it is a mother. And a very ill cancer is about to become very significant in your life. Um, hospitalization, I heard. For some, it's your baby mother. For some, it's your mother. So you plug it in. How it resonates to me, that could be a foster mother or um, or a uh, biological mother or what have you, what have you, whether it's your baby mother or your uh, or your foster or biological mother, some kind of cancerian energy. Um, I, in this aspect, I feel they're docile and laying in the hospital bed very ill. Like, um, I mean, ill, like, please help me. I'm ill kind of energy. Yikes. My condolences to whoever that's for, whether it's your mother or your baby mother. I heard hospitalization, so I don't know if they're already in the hospital or they're about to become in the hospital. You plug it in how it resonates. Oof. June. June of 2022 was very significant in many Aries' lives. For some, you hit a milestone. For some, you moved. For some, you got a new vehicle. Okay, so June of 2022 was um, significant in a lot of you guys' life. For some, you hit a milestone. For some, you got a new vehicle. For some, you moved. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. A ghost home is very significant in Aries life. A ghost? Oh, my God. A ghost home. A ghost home is very significant in one of your lives. So, June of 2022 is very significant in some of you guys' life. For some, you moved. For some, you got a new vehicle. For some, you hit a milestone. Now, whatever milestone that is in your life and how that resonates and applies, that could have been losing weight. That could have been quitting an addiction or addictions. That could have been um, gaining weight if you wanted to gain weight. It could have been having a child or whatever the milestone is for some. And for some, a ghost home is very significant in your life. So maybe you like to ghost hunt or go on ghost excursions or you live in a ghost home or you know someone that lives in a ghost home. Somehow a ghost home is very significant in your life. Could have been in June of 2022. It could be now. You plug it in how it resonates, but somehow a ghost home is very significant in one of you guys' life. Maybe for some, I feel you might have went ghost hunting in June of 2022, possibly. Possibly. Or or, or you visited some kind of haunted, haunted home in June of 2022. Blue, disappointment in a friend or lover. A co-working relationship has blown all to hell. Some it's your relationship, some it's somebody else's. Okay, I heard a co-working relationship has blown all to hell. For some it's your co-working relationship, for some it's somebody else's. So you plug it in how it resonates. So disappointment in a lover, like a co-working relationship, lover to lover, whether it's your actual co-working fraternization type relationship, co-working in a workplace situation or somebody else's how that resonates and applies aries i don't do co-working love relationships i just don't not since i was 18 years old and there's reasons i don't and that's just the truth but one of you guys does or did um and somebody you know does or did um you plug it in how it resonates uh this is like co-working um love affairs gone bad is what this is in my opinion
And an affair with a Libra is about to blow up in your face. You are a masculine Aries. Know this. Oh, and I heard an affair with a Libra is about to blow up in your face. Um, know this. So some kind of affair with the Libra in energy. Um, masculine or female Libra. They could have Libra in any aspects of their charts. Libra, um, not Libra, um, Aries. Uh, what do you guys have an affair with the Libra? Masculine or female Libra. For some, it could be co-working affair. For some, it could not be. Uh, but how that resonates, some, one of you guys, you're having an affair. Masculine or female Aries to masculine or female Libra um, with, a, with the Libra. I heard it's about to blow up in your face. Um, so um, disappointment in the relationship about to blow up. Uh, for some, you could have got with this Libra in June, possibly. For some, maybe not. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Mm. Happiness and well-being. Someone's about to spread around a video of an Aries and a Libra. A sex video. For one, you're in it. For one, you're about to view it. Oh, my God Almighty. Why, why do people do that shit? Why do people do that shit? That is not okay. If there is no consent and authorization, one does not sign to have their naked body parts splayed all over the universe. You should need to quit doing that shit. Because one day, somebody's going to get in the middle of a damn lawsuit. If anybody needs to hear that. Quit explaining people's naked sex body parts all over the place in the form of sex videos if they do not give consent or authorization. If anybody needs to hear that. I get sick of picking this shit up. And I'm just being for real. And I know people do that for humiliation rituals and humiliation spells and shit. Quit doing it. Quit doing it. It's not cool. It's not cool. I heard somebody's about to spread around a sex video of an Aries and a Libra. Um. And it's about to go fast. And it's about to go fast. For one of you Aries, you're in the sex video. For one, you it sounds like you're an Aries about to see the sex video of another Aries and a Libra. Mask or femme Aries, mask or femme Libra. They can have Aries or Libra and a sun, moon, rising, Venus, or femme, mid-hater, and Jupiter charts. I get so sick and tired of pulling in people, spreading around people's sex videos. I wonder if it was done with an illegal boy or camera. I didn't hear that it was. But there's a reason this is about to be spread around. Quit spreading around people's sex on videos. I, I'm serious, man. It's not cool. It's just not cool. There's a thing called privacy. People should have privacy. Normal individuals with same mental capacity want privacy in the bedroom. If anybody needs to hear that. I heard a sex video of a, a Libra and an Aries is about to be spread around. One of you guys, you're an Aries, about to see this sex video. Now, whether you want to see it or not, I don't know. But I hope if there was no consent or authorization and it was done on a hidden voyeur camera, I hope somebody suits the hell out of whoever does this. And I'm just being for real. Quit doing it. It's not cool. I mean, I'm sorry about the bitch fest, but I'm just being for real. Sun, happiness, and well-being. And Aries is about to go to a wedding soon. And Aries is about to have grandchildren over to their home. Okay, I heard of Aries is about to go to a wedding soon. And Aries is about to have grandchildren over to their home. And an Aries is about to do the right thing. They've had very sleepless nights. Involving 401k money. Stolen 401k money. And custody, custodial arrangement. Okay, I heard um, an Aries is about to do the right thing um, regarding some kind of 401k money for one of you guys. And for one, regarding some kind of custodial arrangement. So that could be working it out with your baby mama, baby daddy. That could be... Um, that could be maybe you work in the legal sector for some, uh, or for some, you could be the baby mom or baby daddy, get it worked out with your baby mom and baby daddy. Um, for some, it could be a legal battle, or you could work in the legal system, however that resonates, but some kind of custodial arrangements. I heard you've been having sleepless nights, so 
However, you fit into the dynamic of you having sleepless nights about some kind of custodial arrangement, Aries. Whether you work in the legal system, um, you're in the middle of a custody battle with somebody right now, or you, um, you're you a baby mama, baby daddy, ex-husband, ex-wife, what I've separated spouse, or what have you, what have you, and you're going to work it out. Things that bring you happiness. I heard you've been having sleepless nights over that. So however you fit into that spectrum. And for one, you're going to have a visit with your um, grandchildren soon. That's going to make you happy. I heard it's going to be in your home. Um, congratulations for whoever that's for. I was supposed to have visitation arrangements with my kids this weekend, but they didn't want me to come. So, I mean, but congratulations to whoever is about to have your grandchildren over. Just saying. Significant evidence on a pedophile ring is about to come to a very high position of high authority, Aries. One, you're an officer of the law. One, you are a judge. About to bust this shit up in a huge way. Significant evidence on a pedophile ring is about to come in. One, you're a judge, Aries. One, you are a um, officer of the law, Aries. And I um, heard you're going to help bust this shit up. Um, it's already severely declined, severely declined. It's about to tank. And it's going to go very public. Okay, I heard it's already severely tanked, severely tanked, but it's going to go, it's going to go, it's about to go kaput, kaput, kaput. Like, you're, it sounds like you're going to stomp this shit out. And I hope you do. I'm just saying. Um, and it's about to end. It sounds like it's about to end. And it's going to give you happiness. So I feel you're a light side Aries officer of the law or a light side Aries judge. Um, no kids should ever be exploited and abused. Nobody's kids. Period, point blank, if anybody needs to hear that. That breeds addictions. It breeds mental instability. It breeds abuse and exploitation. It breeds all negative into the universe. Um, hashtag save the kids if anybody needs to hear that. But whoever you guys are, there's at least two of you. One, you're an officer of the law. One, you're a judge. And uh, I heard that whoever is in the middle of this pedophile business, it's already severely tanked. Uh, it sounds like you guys are about to help smash into the ground, like smithereens. And my hat's off to whoever is the hell is about to do this. And I'm just being for real. Hashtag save the kids if anybody needs to hear that. I didn't hear anything else, but I think it's going to give you a lot of happiness. Um, everybody's kids deserve to be, should be abuse and exploitation free. If anybody needs to hear that. Everybody's kids. I don't care if you have $5 in the bank account or $5 million. Rego crimes are very significant in one particular community as well. And federal agents are about to become very significant in many influential Aries soon. Aries lives soon. About to collaborate. Okay, Rico crimes are very significant in one particular community. I think where you reside Aries or somebody you know resides Aries. Rico crimes, and um, I heard um, some of you guys, you're significant, prominent members of this community, I'm feeling, and you're going to help um, collaborate with federal agents um, with some kind of Rico crime, Rico act energy. It's good that you're going to help in a positive way here, um, and I'm just being for real. This, uh, it's, uh, I was pulling this crap in and pulling this crap in and pulling this crap in. Now it sounds like action is actually occurring in the universe and in a positive copacetic manner and that's a good thing so purification uh number 30 could be very significant number number 30 
A Sagittarius that was once a very positive part of your life is about to become a very negative part of your life. You realize this person is very cold and heartless. For some, it is a stepmother. For some, it is a foster mother. You are not going to take any more pity on this person. You're a high influential member of community. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. There's at least two sides. Uh, they're both fem energies. One, they're a foster mother. One, they are a stepmother. You're a high influential. Bad, 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 bad. I can't speak. You're a high influential member of your community, it sounds like, in some shape or fashion. For some, you could be the officer of law. For some, you could be the judge. For some, you could be any other high influential member of your community. For some, you could be a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. Or any other high influential member of your community, however that resonates and applies to Aries. But for some, you're dealing with the stepmother side. For some, you're dealing with the foster mother side. For some, you could be dealing with both of them, stepmother and foster mother side. Sagittarius is fems. They can have Sag in their summing rising, Venus or feminine energy in your charts. I heard you realize they're very cold and spiteful and malicious. They are. They are, is what I heard. That's confirmation. They are. They are. They're very cold, spiteful, and malicious. I heard you're not going to take any more pity on them. So I think they were trying to pull at your heartstrings in the past, but in reality, they're very cold, heartless, and malicious. Sounds like you're about to, um, you're disappointed in them, is what I feel. Uh, they're very cold, heartless, and malicious, and I heard you're about to take some great action on them. So however you're going to take great action on them, and whatever position of authority, high influential member of the community you are, and however you can you you apply to these people and whatever action you're going to take is what i'm trying to say so truth coming out on these cold heartless individuals uh fem energies whether they're a stepmother or a foster mother um and how this resonates and applies in your life um uh, aries in one of these situations they will be jailed and you're gonna help you're gonna help make sure they get put there. Ooh, and one of these situations you're gonna make they're gonna get jailed, and for one, you're gonna help put them there. Holy crap, so let's pull a kipper. So one of these situations I heard they're gonna um end up being jailed, and for one of you guys, you're gonna help put them there. So you plug it into your own particular life and situation, how it resonates in your um life Aries, okay? I'll pull one kipper and then we'll close it. Spirit messages you have to Aries. House reverse. Number 20 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 20, house reverse. A Leo masculine criminal is about to be apprehended for many series of chain events. He's an alcoholic. And he's been a huge criminal in your community in a huge way. You are a very high position of authority. You're going to lay the law on his ass. For one, you are a judge. For one, you are not. Oh, I'm picking up heavy judge energy in here. Holy God. Okay. So, uh, Leo masculine criminal in your community. Um, whoever the Leo masculine criminal is, he could have Leo in any aspects of your charts, and he is a Leo masculine criminal. Heard he's been a criminal in your community for a long time, for many years. Um, I heard through many series of chain events, he's about to be apprehended. For one, you're going to, for it sounds like for both of you, you're going to lay the law on me. For, for one, you're a judge. Uh, so, I, I mean, like, literally, like, gaveling on you is what I feel. I uh, like, I think you're locking his ass up or giving him a lot of time or laying the law harshly on him or whatever you're going to do. Um. They're Aries judge for one of you. For one, you're not a judge. So for one, I think you could be the officer of the law, or maybe you're a high up officer of the law. Maybe you're a sergeant. Maybe you're uh, chief of police. I don't. I don't know what the ranks are in police. I don't know. I don't deal in law enforcement. Never wanted to. But how that resonates is what I'm trying to say. But I feel one, you are a judge. But for one, you're something else. But I think you might be. You either are an officer of the law or you deal with the officer of the laws or, or you deal with the law enforcement sector in some shape or more fashion is what I'm saying, Aries. There's a reason you care about this. There's a reason you want this to happen is what I'm saying. So 
if you not work, if for the one that's not the judge, the other one, if you aren't an officer of the law, you I think you deal with officers of law. But there's a reason you want him, like, I think you want the book laid on his ass. I think you, like, I think you're going to be happy about this. He's going to give you happiness and well-being. That his ass about to get locked up. Heard he's an alcoholic and he's been a criminal in your community for a long time. So I think he's caused a lot of chaos and ruckus and craziness in your community is what I think. A lot of it. A lot of it. And you're going to be very happy. Both are going to be very happy. Ooh, I heard a lot of it, a lot of it. Both of you are going to be very happy. One, you're a judge. One, you are something else. Whatever you are and how that applies. Um, Aries. It's a Leo masculine criminal and i heard he's been doing criminal crazy criminal acts in your community for a long time and he's an alcoholic and that is specific as well so he has a drinking problem as well if that resonates okay that could be the disappointment disappointment in this leo masculine criminal huge 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 primes here you're about to learn huge information on this very soon. And you're going to be very happy to get it done. Oh, my God. I heard huge, huge, huge crimes here. You're about to learn information on this soon. You're going to be happy to get it done. Drugs are very heavily involved. Drugs are very heavily involved. And tax evasion. And tax evasion. Damn, drugs and tax evasion. My God. I was picking tax evasion up in Leo. Drugs and tax evasion. Um, um, you plug it in how it resonates. And other crimes. Buy the book this time. Okay, I heard buy the book this time. Drugs. Tax evasion and other crimes by the book this time is what I heard. So I think you're very disappointed in him, Aries Judge, or Aries other position of high authority. Drugs. Good God, this person just done it all. Drugs, tax evasion, and other serious crimes. So whatever the hell the other serious crimes are. I don't know. Um, drugs. I did hear drugs. I did hear tax evasion. And then other serious crimes. So whatever the hell those are. That's, that just sounds like charge upon charge upon charge upon charge of you. Dear God, this is a lot. Um, I heard by the book this time. So maybe you let him off in the past. Maybe you were leaning in on him in the past. Aries judge or Aries other position of high authority. I strongly feel you might be an officer of the law. Um, if not, some other kind of occupation. But that that's some serious shit. I'm just saying. Drugs. So I don't know if that's drug trafficking. Um. If it's drug trafficking or um, 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 drug dealing or, I don't know, something to do with drugs and then tax evasion, that's serious shit. I wonder if that stemming off that illegal business I was pulling in here earlier or illegal business and they're not paying their taxes, however that resonates. But um, And then other serious crimes. So however that resonates applies, I heard you're going to go buy the book this time. So, whoever, wh wherever you fit in over here, I think you were leaning on this person in the past, but they're a criminal, been a criminal for years, and they are alcoholic, and that was very specific in here. Whoever this Leo masculine criminal is, okay? You guys plug them in how they resonate. Uh-uh. The, however they resonate, okay? And Aries is about to make a very um, specific phone call soon. A Gemini Feminine. This Gemini Feminine is going to give you very important information on a Gemini Masculine and a Sagittarius Feminine. It's going to open up your eyes in a huge way, a very huge way. These people are not who they proclaim to be, and you're about to figure this out. 
Okay, so you, you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. One of you guys, I heard you're about to make, uh, you can be masculine with him, Aries, how this resonates and applies for you. I heard you're about to make, it hasn't happened yet. You're about to make a very serious, um, important phone call. I heard to a Gemini femme. So whoever the Gemini femme is and how they apply, they can have Gemini in any aspects of their charts. It's a Gemini feminine, though. Gemini femme. Um, once you make, it sounds like you're going to make this phone call to the Gemini femme. Once you make the phone call to the G Gemini femme, it sounds like you're going to ask about a Gemini masculine and a Sag femme. Um, I wonder if they're a couple or if they work together or somehow you're going to ask about both of them. So, why ever you ask about both of them? So, I don't know if they're a couple, a married couple, a dating couple, a, they work together. Some reason you're asking about both of them, though, is what I'm trying to say. Um, why ever you ask about both of them? But you're going to ask about both of them to this Gemini feminine, Aries. You're going to ask to the Gemini femme about this, these two people, the Gemini masculine and the Sag femme. I heard they are going to give you the information, but it's... Um, I heard once this person gives you the information, you're going to realize these two people are not who they basically proclaim to be, like, out. I think they're false masks. Like, they proclaim, like, they're one thing out in public, but they're really not. They are completely different things behind the scenes, uh, like, doing things in the dark, or maybe they're involved with some kind of shicey shit. I heard they're, you're going to realize they're not who they proclaim to be who they say they are so they're either like criminals or on the run or fugitives or they're false mask energy or something um they're just not who you they proclaim to be whether they are like uh fugitives or false maskers or liars or what have you what have you heard it's going to open up your eyes in a huge way so it sounds like you're about to learn some very important information from this gemini film on these two individuals is what i'm trying to say um who, whether they're just liars or criminals or whatever the hell they are. They're not who they say they are, though. I'll tell you that. So, um, and I heard it's going to cause you to take great action. So, whatever action you're going to take regarding either liars or fugitives or criminals or whatever information you're going to learn from the Gemini fan that's going to open your eyes up on these people is what I'm saying. It's a side fan and a Gemini masculine. You plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Also, too, I was going to say, with the RICO crime and the RICO law stuff and the federal agents, I wonder if somebody's going to get their house seized, uh, property or assets seized from the RICO crime and RICO law. Because um, we have house reversed. Um, so, that Leo masculine, I wonder, like, he sounds like his ass about to get locked up. So, I don't know if he's going to lose his house or we got house reversed. So, or somebody's going to go into foreclosure or eviction or something. I didn't hear any of that. But this came up in the with the Leo masculine finally about to get locked up. So I wonder if he's going to end up losing his home. Or he gets evicted or foreclosed upon or something like that. Or this could be Rico crime, Rico act energy with the seizal of property. Um, It might be that Scorpio criminal we were pulling in here earlier. But I feel that house reverse is very significant in here with this Rico crime and Rico act energy is what I'm saying. Because that, that involves seizal of property and assets for people that shouldn't have them. Um, huge theft, like very huge theft with organized crime and things of that nature is what I'm saying. So I wonder if somebody's about to get some assets seized or property seized or large ticket items seized or something. So we have house reverse with the Rico Crime Rico Act, and then this Leo masculine criminal about to get locked up for some big ass shit. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Truth coming out on that, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, Aries. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of a little. I'm pulling in some heavy hair energy in here. I've got judges in here. I've got. Um, I feel high level law enforcement. I don't feel you're just like a foot officer, Aries. One of you guys, one you might be, like you might, one you might work at a school, one you might do calls, but I feel for one, you are high up, like high up. Confirmation for my kitty. I mean, for real, I feel you are high up. Now, I don't know what rank you are, but intuitively, I feel you are high up, Aries. And I'm just being for real. Whatever y'all's ranks are in the police department, I don't know. Police precinct, police force. I don't know. 
But I feel you're high up. And one, you're a judge. And one, you're a position of authority in some kind of company or something of that nature. Manager, boss, supervisor, CEO. I mean, I've got some heavy hitter energy up in here. I just do, for real, for real. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? Holy moly. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. I was waiting to see if I did. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped. Please share my videos if you think it, um, they could help anybody. I'd really appreciate it. It helps a single mom and two kids and support one of her business income streams. I really help it. Really help it. I'm tired, you guys. It's 9.19 p.m. <laughs> Sorry. It really helps a single mom and, um, of two kids and one of her businesses out. That's what I was trying to say. Just saying. I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a good night. I'm making it through. I'm just saying. Love you guys. Namaste.